Welcome to Max Bro Productions, where today we're answering an important question. What is the fastest way of getting from here, the slipway in Sheldon in South Devon, down the coast to a pub called the Carey Arms near Torquay? Well, to find out, Charlie is going to take a speedboat. I am going to take my own Sea at Ibiza, and the last one there buys the beers. So, three, two, one, go. I'm going to win. I'm going to win this. Charlie would have to navigate through the moorings while I headed into the village. So, first of all, we need to get through Shoulder, which is fantastically twisty and tight. But Charlie has to stick to six knots, which is about five miles an hour, while he's going through the harbour anyway, so it should be pretty level. As I carved through the village, the boat was passing Sholden Beach. Pass the ferry boat in, a good establishment. Now we're up to the seafront. I can't see him. Ah, there he is, there he is. Marcella too going along. The boat is about 100 yards behind me. He's coming out of the mouth. I'm driving up the road that lies along the side of the uh, entrance to Timber. The boat was at the river mouth. Having collected Zach, the cameraman, Charlie would be able to get the hammer down. On the land, I had almost cleared Sheldon. Sheldon Zoo there. Got a couple of monkeys in there. Now this is steep. Yes. As I approached the coast road, the boat was free of the speed-restricted harbour and headed for the freedom of the English Channel. The race was on. Now, I should explain, although we are slightly ahead, or whoa, Christ, Kia, although we were slightly ahead leaving the harbour, my journey is almost two miles longer. That meant I'd have to average a much higher speed than the boat. But I was a bit distracted. Someone pulling off the road. <laughs> now, if you're planning on placing a bet on this race, here are the statistics. Charlie is driving a Dory 475 speedboat and it has a 60 brake horsepower Mercury four-stroke engine bolted to the back. I, on the other hand, am driving my own Sea Ibiza. It's got a 1.6 TDI engine and that spurts out about 120 horsepower. Now, the good news about this route is we have some quite good corners on the way. Being the FR, it has slightly stiffer springs, certainly on the front end, which does give it a lot more responsiveness in the corners. An FR stands for well, either effing rapid or formula racing. I think it's the latter. On the open coast road, I could give it the beans and continued to tear through my epic six and a half mile route. Meanwhile, out on the water, the boat wasn't hanging around either. But what neither of us were aware of was that Charlie and the boat were nudging ahead. Ah, model village, you see, there's the sign. A very enticing gift shop, I believe. I was driving into Babacan, a picturesque district of Torquay, and I was making good time until where is it again? Um, the chopping board. Not that. Things were looking hopeless. The diver's arms. There's a lot of pubs around here. But then... Ah, yes, down here. And we're on Babacombe Seafront, I think. Charlie is down there somewhere. 
Spurred on by some annoying jet skis, the boat was fast approaching the finish line. Right then, here's the entrance for the carry arms. All I had to do now was negotiate the tricky entrance road that led down the cliff to the pub. Now this is steep, probably the steepest road I've ever seen. Um, I've been down here a couple of times and it is, it's just steep. On the seas, and now free from the wet bites, Charlie could almost taste victory. Although, the car wasn't out yet. I think it's round here to the left. The Ibiza's trusty front end pulling me round. Hello. Sorry. I've no idea where Charlie is. Come through. Go. Right, this is steep. Where is he? Where is he? No, he's nearly there. All right, I'm leaving the car here. There he is. He's nearly on the wall. Oh, it's a lost cause. Okay. Well done. I'm going to use my nautical knowledge. How do I do a bowling again? Um, up the hole, round the tree, back down the hole. I just pulled a handbrake. This is a bit... How are you going to get off? Eventually, he was off. Well, look, Chaz, well done. Yeah, well, you well did done. very well. How was that journey out? Was it all okay? Peachy. Good. No roundabouts, no, no traffic lights. The boat went all right, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, she went like a dream. You did do well. I did get a bit lost. Well, that's your fault. Anyway, as we've found out from this extensive research, the fastest way of getting from Sheldon to the Kerry Arms near Torquay is on a dory from the 90s. Well, look, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, and um, I'd better order some beers. Um...